this is my show, um, Wang Agbo, Entering Adolescence, and it's currently showing at the Jonathan Ferrara Gallery in New Orleans. Wang Agbo means a young woman. Where I'm from, which is the Igbo tribe of the people of Nigeria, the southeastern part, Wang Agbo is typically used to refer to a young woman, typically in the 18 to 24 age subset. And the reason I decided to create this collection was because an Igbo woman's life is broken down into sort of seasonality. So you have the childhood phase, you have the adolescence phase, and you have the adult phase, and then you have the elderly phase. And really and truly, it's only when a woman enters the autumnal phase of her life that she's accorded, you know, the, the sort of respect that's given to men and the reputations and titles that go with that. So I wanted to showcase young women who do fall within that 18 to 24 age subset and show that they are important. So I've likened each of my pieces to a symbolic item in Igbo land, in Igbo culture. I have one which likens the young woman to a kola nut. So a kola nut is a very symbolic nut in Igbo land. I've likened another young woman to a python. A python is a very symbolical reptile in, in Igbo culture as well. And so in likening them to all these items, inanimate objects that have such deep symbolical meaning, I'm trying to also sort of showcase that these young women are just as powerful as these objects that we attach so much reverence to as well. And I hope that, you know, the colors and their expressions and their postures will draw the reader into find out a bit more. a blank canvas and I sketch out the form and then I segment the skin. I never really sort of know which colors are going to come next. I just know I have a body or a palette of colors I'd like to use. So I typically start with the highlight of the face and I build out um, the image from there. And lastly, I will do the eyes and the lips and the eyes are very important because that's what draws in the audience. And then in terms of the clothes, it depends on what I'm sort of trying to convey with that piece. I draw inspiration from the people that are important to me. The muse for this series is actually my younger sister. So I figured she would be the perfect backdrop to create this series of work. Although I would like to be known as a contemporary African artist, more specifically, I like to call myself an Igbo vernacular artist. And that's because my work is very, very strongly situated in a particular place and time and within a particular um, subset of people, which is the Igbo people of Nigeria. I think my hope is that eventually, when people are engaging in dialogue regarding Western Africa and customs and beliefs of a tribe of people, and they want to explore more about um, those of Nigeria, that my work forms part of that discourse used to educate an audience and a viewer and I hope that they try to learn more through engaging with my art so that's a huge impetus for the reason that I do what I do.